guys, this is Athena, witching in the kitchen. There's going to be an echo quality and I do apologize for that. It cannot be helped. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I am Athena Beth. I have been practicing and studying witchcraft, paganism, Wicca, all of the above for the last 10 years. In this channel we talk about how to bring magic into the mundane and explore enchantment in your world. If that sounds like something you might be interested in, stick around, because here we go. Today's day of magic topic is cauldrons, specifically modern day cauldrons. I like to burn candles, I love, love incense, but two years ago or so I was diagnosed with asthma. It doesn't mean I stopped using all of my beloved candles and incense, but I have greatly reduced the amount that I use them. And I apologize, <laughs> another distraction. My puppy is down here wondering what I'm doing and trying to climb up me, like how cats do, you know? In a search for ways to still bring the aromas of witchcraft from my favorite incenses and candles, I have taken to my modern day cauldron, the mini little hot pot, little dipper. I bought this for super cheap at a thrift store and I bought it knowing I will never use it for food. It is only used for witchy stuff. I don't worry about contamination, you know. So far, I don't think I've ever put anything toxic in it, but if I wanted to, it would be okay because I'm not going to use it for food. We're going to make a little hot pot simmer that smells as good as, if not better, than those fall candles that we, I know that I love so much, but it's healthier for my lungs. Also, it has one more added benefit. If you, like me, buy a lot of produce that doesn't always get eaten, this is a good thing, a good thing you can do with that leftover fruit that you may not eat. This apple is past its prime, so it'll be perfect for our potpourri. This guy, this guy, you gonna say sorry? You need to apologize, you being very annoying, baby. Okay. So first and foremost, water. Plain old tap water. Old apple bruised, nobody's gonna eat it. We cut it this way, horizontally. Instead of your typical core, cores at the top and bottom, we do it sideways. All good witches know why, in case you don't know. Because inside is where you find the pentagram. I also pull out seeds and I collect the seeds in this little container so I can save them for spell work. So I'm cutting the apple with an apparently dull knife and I don't recommend. Cut it into very thick slices because it doesn't matter. I've removed the seeds and now I'm putting, I'm floating the pieces in there. I just wanted to share, I like to use Scott Cunningham's Wicca in the Kitchen. The energies apples bring are love, health, and peace. Things I like the most, things I think we can all use. Even the smell of fresh apples was thought to bestow longevity and restore flagging physical strength. At one time, apples were always rubbed before they were eaten to remove all the demons or evil spirits that were thought to reside in them. I'll cry. When eaten, apples gave the gift of perpetual youth to gods, goddesses and gods. So I like the fact that the apple seems sacred with the pentagram in it. It's also celebrated because it is said to bring love, health, and peace. You're going to notice, I imagine, that a lot of the things I put in here have those similar en energies. Cinnamon. Ooh. Sometimes I use ground cinnamon. I also really enjoy cinnamon sticks. Turns out my puppy likes them too. He found one and was chewing on it, which scared me. Usually if I use the cinnamon sticks, I try to pull out three good ones that feel like the right ones. 
when possible, I do things in threes. Maiden, Mother, Crone, Triple Moon. Its, its energies are love, psychic abilities, and awareness, and money. So I'm going to add my three cinnamon sticks. Sometimes I will also wave them over and make a sign of the pentacle. Say a little prayer with it. Again, you can use ground any of these, but when possible, I do like to use whole ones. Oh, God. I can't even tell you how much I love cloves, the smell of cloves. So this is another element of fire. Energy that cloves bring are love, money, and protection. Yes, money has popped up a couple times, but love was, love was present in all three of our ingredients so far, the apples, the cinnamon, and the cloves. Now these I like to use more than just three, so I'll do nine. So three groups of three. Now, just for good measure, pumpkin pie spice. I'm not gonna go through all the ingredients and all the energies those bring. For this, I'm just going to put some a nice big amount, probably almost a tablespoon over it and then I sprinkle it on top plug it in and then you have yourself a nice safe delicious smelling potpourri and it creates such a homey, delicious scent. You walk in the house and it feels cozy. With this fall weather and the fall colors coming, this is, it just is the cherry on top. One nice thing about these little tiny crock pots, they burn very slowly. It'll take a few minutes before you can even sense the smell. One recommendation is to heat up the water before you put it in there. I use cold water, so it's going to take a while. But keep it somewhere where you won't forget about it. I have had it burn all the way down a couple times, but usually I keep it in a central location away from animals. And I come and I add water every so often. It lasts for maybe a day or two, and then I get rid of it, clean it out, and start again. I've, been, I've used orange pills in it. I haven't tried it with other herbs, but I imagine it would work fine with anything. Maybe lavender and heat it with the water and it will, it will scent your air. Just a little bit of kitchen magic to bring the cozy smell of fall safely for your lungs and your family, using up old produce and bringing the energy of these ingredients. I hope you try it out and tell me if you like it. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and hitting the like button. It helps me show up in other people's feeds. All right, love you guys. Take care, peace.